Okay, hey guys, we are back. We got our drums sandblasted and we cleaned them up. We got them degreased. Um, they're all basically taped off. We are going to coat them with pour 15. So this is a rust preventive paint. Uh, it's very expensive. It's about $35 a quart. What I have, I've had for actually <laughs> 19 years. It still works. It's got an extremely long shelf life. As long as you keep it sealed, it will... Pfft, I don't know, it'll last a very long time. Well, let's check out these drums and then uh, we'll check out this poor 15 job we're gonna do. So pretty pleased. They came out pretty good. We'll take a look inside too and we'll talk about uh, so the inners are relatively clean. Um, we could not get them turned. We were 274.1. The maximum for turning is 274.4. So we are just under. We didn't want to turn them because um, it would become too thin, unsafe. So we're going to leave them as they are. They're not gouged. They're not out of round. We checked for that. And by the way, we did this at O'Reilly's. So if you have an O'Reilly's in your town, follow up with them. They will have a, a drum turning machine for you and a like a machinist on site. Um, what we're going to do is hit them with a 320 uh, metal type uh, uh, cloth. Uh, just clean them up and we'll do that on the very last step. But I want to get a coating on them first. Let them dry. Then we'll clean up the inners and then uh, they'll be ready for assembly. So we'll move on to uh, getting these coated. Now this poor 15 is gloss black. Be yeah. sensitive, I should say. So it will fade with the sun. But uh, this is what we're going to use. Now the poor 15 is really, really thin. You don't want to get it on your skin. It will go on. Now I'm doing the unthinkable. Um, I'm going to be very careful. The way I do this, as you can see, I'm all in white right now. It's clean. When I'm done, I'll walk out of here clean. I won't have a spot on me. <laughs> okay. So anyways, uh, you guys don't do that at home because you probably, probably won't be that lucky. We pre-opened this. Now this pour 15, like I said, is smooth. You want to make sure that when you're done with it, it seals up. It doesn't get any air. Now we uh, we shook this really, really well. So you can take any type of brush that you want. It's relatively thin. Now, since these this metal's already prepped and somewhat etched, we shouldn't have any issue. As you can see, it just goes on extremely smooth extremely smooth. Now this will bite right into the metal. Since these are drums, they don't have to be perfect. This isn't a show car. Yeah, once this stuff dries, it's it's hard as a rock. So you don't want any excess to get on. So you don't want to brush up these studs with material you want to do it with any residual I guess and anything that it touches against something else it'll literally bond it to it I think that looks pretty good. We'll move on to the rest. It spreads amazingly, um, and it go a little goes a long way. And as you can see, I'm still brushing. All right, we got them all brushed on. 
And you can see this stuff is amazing. I don't know the square foot cutter coverage, but um, it's it's a shit ton. I can tell you that it's just a shit ton. But here's the finished product. Very very happy. You saw how easy it went on, and it goes on easy. It doesn't uh, uh, form any type of rust streaks. It's super thin, and then once it hardens, you can't beat it off. You cannot beat it off. This is amazing stuff. So, hey guys made a good choice in using this and uh yeah so so once you're done usually it's about a 24-hour dry as far as like your brushes i never clean my brushes I, I i will buy inexpensive brushes because it just uh it's just too difficult to clean i usually toss them out it's not probably environmental friendly to do that but it's either that or handle you know, the chemicals clean them so i i just it gets hard i just toss them out but uh, yeah, came out really good. Pretty happy with it. So the next one, of course, is gonna be the assembly with the new brake shoes hardware kit. And we're gonna get the bearings and saw. We gotta get those greased up. So it's not road worthy yet. We have a dry. It's noisy out here, isn't it? A lot of traffic. It's that time people are getting off work. So anyways, rear master cylinders dry. We'll do the rear brakes at a later time, but we want to get the front ones completed um, and uh, make this car roadworthy and uh, see what we're going to do with it. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.